What's up, guys? We're here in Atlantic City with uh, Ryan Levine. And tell us how you did this weekend. Hi, I got a third at the PPG, I guess the first ever PPG uh, Pro Play Tour nice. for Yu-Gi-Oh. And what you play? I played Danger Thunder Dragon. So this is the same deck that I played last week at Sydney that uh, Bowden and Chessie played as well, but changed the side deck a little bit. And uh, there was an error where I forgot to put a card on my deck list, which I'll get to at some point. Um, so three Thunder Dragon, three Dark, two Hawk, two Roar. This is just the same deck, so I'm not gonna go in super detail for the main deck. Uh, all the same dangers, three Nessie, three Beach of the Good Ones, two Mothman, one Chupacabra. Um, so that's the dangers and the thunders. Two Mathematician um, to send these, basically, and Snow. So, like, it just always gives you access, to, or more ways to access Snow. And these just give you extra link materials. Two Amber for Brilliant Fusion. I'm a coward, so I want an extra one in case I draw it or discard it or something, because dangers filter through your deck pretty quickly. Uh, three Destrudo and Mare Mare for the Yazi Brio thing. Um, Grinder Golem. This card's really hit or miss. It's either really good or really bad. It's, uh, it's whatever. It makes two tokens, two darks. Three Brilliant Fusion. This is just the best card ever. This has been the best card ever for like four years. Uh, three Gold Sark. It's pretty good. Three Allure. You have, have a lot of darks. Thunder Dragon Fusion. One for one Soul Charge. Uh, Foolish Burial is supposed to be in my deck to bring it up to 50, but I forgot to put it in my deck. <laughs> I forgot to write it on my deck list and forgot to just put it in my deck, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll do extra. So, three Thunder Dragon, This I believe this is just the same extra deck. Three Thunder Dragon Colossus, two Titan, Seraf Knight, Saryuja, Curious, Link Karibo, Reprodocus, Summon Sork, F Unicorn, Phoenix, Yazi, Brio. Cool, so is there anything you want to say the, about the deck? Um, the side deck is where most of like the new things happen. So, uh, DD Crow. I decided three DD Crow because last week, or at, at Sydney, I felt the main strength of the deck was I sided into Nightmare Griffin and then Floodgates. So, um, additionally, uh, a Gumblar Thunder Dragon deck became pretty popular in the last two weeks as well. And um, it relies on summoning Snow back to trigger Gumblar. So, DD Crow covered both. DD Crow hits Snow if they don't go for uh, the Griffin Summon Limit. And if they do go for Griffin Summon Limit, then you just DD Crow the Summon Limit, and then they're left with basically nothing, and then you probably win from there. So it kind of just covered everything I wanted it to. Um, I didn't really play against people doing this. Uh, I don't think people like have quite caught on to it yet. I think it's really good, which I'll explain more in a little bit. So on my other hand traps, I did the three gamma. I just wanted a hand trap that would be more tangible against Rongo, which in Swiss, I played four, I played four Rongo, uh, or three, three Rongo, um, and then I lost in top four to Rongo. Uh, and then my side, so that was my side for like, uh, I, I also put Crow in against Rongo because it could hit something if they if they play the Gokis, you can Crow one of the guys they try to bring back off rematch. If they play Mally or anything, you can hit one of the Phantom Knights they send off the Link Monster. It just covered a lot. Uh, then two Pancratops, two Red Reboot. This was for the more fair like trap decks. I also sided Reboot in against the Rongo decks because sometimes you hit Bardeach and maybe it stops them. Like I didn't have much else to put in. Um, last week, the the uh, story of the event was there was a lot of Geist. I didn't have enough for Geist. And this week, there's a lot of Rongo. didn't have enough for Rongo. And there's just 15 slots is not enough <laughs> to cover everything. Um, and then the rest of my board. This is, I think, the main strength of my deck uh, was the side into Nightmare Griffin with uh, Summon Limit, Imperial Order, and Eradicator. Um, I never went first against Geist. I I just didn't play a game three, um, so I never sided this in. But against Geist, you curious send so you curious send any of these, and then Griffin summon it, uh, set set it back to your field. So against uh, against Alter Geist, you do Eradicator and you eradicate them for traps. Against Striker, you do Imperial Order, and against anything else, basically you summon limit. So I put this in against. Pendulum, Thunder Dragon, Rongo Miniad. Uh, there's probably other decks that exist in the format that I'm not thinking about where I would summon limit, but these three uh, just pretty basically covered anything to the point that like when you go first, you win basically, like when if you go first post siding, like you basically just win. If they don't have enough hand traps to stop you, it's just pretty much unbeatable. I think this is like, the main strength of this deck. I didn't felt I didn't feel like my deck was particularly great outside of these cards. So cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. So let's talk about how you felt about the event today because this is our first pro tour. Yeah. Um, for the first event, I think it ran pretty smoothly. Uh, we were out on time. Like it was over pretty quickly. Round there was pretty fast round turnover. Um, 
I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope they do more. I love to see more tournament series, stuff like that. Cool. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Hope to see you in the future.